afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a great pleasure to talk to you about cannabis research. The purpose of this talk is to provide background information on the state of cannabis research and introduce some work that my colleagues and I have carried out. My talk will be in three parts. I will begin with the historical account of the industrial uses of cannabis. I will next discuss botanical properties of cannabis. The last part will be the main topic of this presentation. My talk will be in three parts. I will begin with the historical account of the industrial usages of cannabis. I will next discuss botanical properties of cannabis. The last part will be the main topic of this presentation. Uh, firstly, I'd like to introduce the history of industrial uses of cannabis. Cannabis is one of the oldest crops in the world, and it has been used worldwide as a source of fiber materials for a thousand years. Due to the strongest and the most durable fibers, it was used for the manufacture of fine cloth, rope, twine, and snail materials until the late 1800s. There are various usages for the different parts of cannabis plant. The stock is used in textile, paper, and construction production. Cannabis seeds are used in the food, oil, biofuel, and cosmetics industry. Also, flowers and leaves, including trichomes, are used to make medicines. As many Koreans know, cannabis fibers have long been used in Korea for textile production. In the ancient Korean time period of the three countries, cannabis was commonly used to produce cloth. The soldiers of Goguryeo and the Prince Mai of Silla are known to wear cannabis clothes. Cannabis fiber was also an important crop in ancient Egypt. Egyptians used cannabis fibers to produce rope and other textiles. The Egyptian goddess carved relief shows us a cannabis leaf on her head band. Egyptian women used cannabis as a medication to relieve sorrow and bad humor. Cannabis was first documented around 2000 BC to treat sore eyes and cataracts. Cannabis was a popular folk remedy in ancient China and is widely regarded as a healing plant. An ancient Chinese doctor, Hua Ta, used cannabis oil for his surgery. THCA and CBDA naturally exist in the plant and considered to be a good source of anti-inflammatory agent. Also, CBC involves to relieve pain. Cannabis fibers have many modern uses too. They were used in the production of the Gutenberg Bible, which was the first press Bible in the world, and the Declaration of Independence of USA is written on paper made from cannabis. This slide shows the latest examples of cannabis products, such as electric car, secondary battery, cannabis scooter, and electric assist bike, and CBD products. Scientists estimate there will be over 50,000 uses of cannabis in the near future. As you know, these images are famous paintings by the Dutch artist Van Gogh and Rembrandt. They distinctively used cannabis oil and canvas, cannabis canvas for their paintings. Most canvases are made with cannabis fiber because of its high strength. Actually, the word canvas is derived from cannabis. But what is cannabis? 
Now, I'd like to introduce the fundamentals of cannabis botany. Cannabis is a botanical name that belongs to cannabis. As we can see here, cannabis is an annual and a herbaceous plant. Cannabis plants synthesize and secrete distinctive secondary products called cannabinoids in their glandular trichomes. Cannabinoids are only produced by this genus. Cannabis plants are often divided into two groups according to the amount of THC they produce. Marijuana strain is suitable for producing cannabinoids and hemp strain is suitable for producing fiber, oil, and food. Cannabis can grow to a maximum height of a five meter in a four to six month growing season. This slide shows a hemp strain of cannabis plants. Most country, countries which produce hemp products, including Europe, Canada, and China use this kind of hemp strains. Cannabis is a dioecious plant, which means that the female and male flowers develop on separate plants. Although rarely monoecious plants with both sexes are found, before flowering you can identify sexes of cannabis plant. The left plant in the yellow box is the female plant with female flowers at the nose. Female flowers have two long and white or white yellow pistils. The calyx contains the ovary at the bottom and develops into a fruit after fertilization. The diagram in the red circle depicts the development of calyx. The stage number three is the perfect time of harvest. We can determine the degree of maturity with stigma or trichomes as a real marker for harvesting. This slide shows the close-up picture of the female and male flowers. Each female flower has two long pistils. Male flowers hang down in the red box here, usually flower up to one month earlier than female plants. There are over 200 strains of cannabis which are classified into two groups. Cannabis sativa is the most common type of hemp. The stem is taller, it grows up to five meters in height. The leaf is thinner and light green than that of cannabis indica. Its leaves are sharply serrated with five to seven points on each leaf. Also, it contains the lowest amount of THC. However, cannabis indica, its name comes from India. It grows one to 1.5 meters in height. The leaves have a thicker and a dark green. This species are called marijuana strain and suitable for medicinal use. The two main types of cannabis strains are shown on this slide. Uh, the hemp strain on the left contain the varieties with low THC and high fiber content. Hemp strain have fewer glandular trichomes on the surface of their leaves and stem. However, marijuana strains on the right have more glandular trichomes, particularly in flowers and the leaves, as you can see here. Glandular trichomes are known to be the site of the synthesis, secretion, and accumulation of cannabinoids. Now that we have discussed the history and the basic properties of cannabis plants, I'll present some of our research for glandular trichomes in the following slide. The trichome is an outgrowth of the epidermis with various functions. In this photograph, two kinds of cannabis trichomes are visible. We can see here some non-glandular trichomes on the left vein and numerous glandular trichomes on the leaf blade. These photographs show non-glandular and glandular trichomes. As you can see in the left photograph, the non-glandular trichome is a single cell and occur on all parts of the plant except the roots. They taper to a sharp point and the length is up to one millimeter. However, glandular trichomes, as shown in right photograph, is multi-celled and more abundant on female flowers. 
glandular trichomes are divided into three types. These two highly magnified SEM photographs show non-glandular and glandular trichomes on the external surface of leaves. The left micrograph shows non-glandular trichomes and the right micrograph shows glandular trichomes. This slide shows in detail the structure of glandular trichome. Glandular trichomes secrete resinous substances from the disc cells consisting of A2 13 cells and the glandular head of trichome. In this talk, I'm going to discuss my previous studies on glandular trichomes. The first topic is development of glandular trichome and the formation of secreted cavity. The second topic is synthesis of terpenoid by plastids and the secretion of cannabinoids. And the last topic is accumulation of cannabinoids in secretory cavity. The first topic begins development of glandular trichome with SEM and TEM micrographs of glandular trichomes. This diagram illustrates the developmental stages of the glandular trichomes. This slide focuses on the formation of secretory cavity during the development of a glandular trichome. Secretory cavities are formed to accumulate cannabinoids and other comp compounds in advance of their active secretion from disc cells. At the developmental stage one, trichome initiation begins with the protrusion of an individual epidermal cell and subsequent anticlinal divisions. At the stage three, the secretory cavity forms by breakdown of the middle layer of the outer disc cell wall. At the final stage, mature glandular trichome possesses an enlarged secretory cavity formed from the several disc cells. This slide illustrates the second topic of glandular trichome. The disc cells of the glandular trichomes have distinctive plastids which contain a reticulate body shown here. Plastids secrete terpenoids such as geranyl pyrophosphate from their surface. These TM micrographs show various features of the plastids as they form a reticulate body or a divide. The three images on the upper right show the formation of a reticulate body, and the three images on the middle and one image in the bottom show the plastids under undergoing repeated fission to multiply. The red arrows indicate the constricted plastids. Two images in the bottom right show the secretion of terpenoids by plastid containing reticulate body. We demonstrate that cannabinoids are present in the secretory cavity using GC analysis, TM observation, and immunocytochemistry. In the GC analysis of secretions removed from the secretory cavity, we use the micromanipulative procedures to document the presence of cannabinoids. TM observation provided more evidence of the presence of cannabinoids in secretory cavity. To clarify where cannabinoids exist in the glandular trichomes, we applied the THC antibody to sections of the glandular trichome. The upper left microlab shows immunocyte cytochemical localization of THC in the glandular trichome. It was detected in the secretory cell wall facing the cavity as well as on the surface of secretory vesicles. Gold label were not localized to the cytoplasm of the secretory or other cells. This result indicates that THC is secreted from the secretory cells and accumulated in both the cell wall and the surface features of vesicles. Depending on these results, we proposed a model 
which uh, depicts a pathway of cannabinoid synthesis and accumulation in, in the glandular trichome. Conclusions. This slide summarizes my conclusions. Firstly, a secretory cavity of glandular trichome is formed in advance before active secretion from the disc cells. Secondly, reticulate body of plastid secrete terpenoids into the cytoplasm of disc cells. Thirdly, numerous constricted plastids are uh, appeared in disc cells before the active secretion by plastids. Lastly, cannabinoids are commonly present on the surface of secretory vesicles and the subcutular wall in secretory cavity. This diagram totally illustrates the process of cannabinoid secretion and accumulation in the glandular trichome. The trichome head is the main site of cannabinoid synthesis and accumulation. In China, cannabis seeds were used for food during several thousand years. Bama village in China has the oldest, healthiest people in the world. Life expand in Burma in, is well over 100 years. That is the reason why villagers in Burma love to eat cannabis seeds every day. Many scientists argue that modern medicines should be single chemical entities rather than complex mixtures of plant constituents. However, some proponents of herbal cannabis assert that Plant material has advantages over the one pure cannabinoid. That is our scientific task to solve the urgent problem. Thank you so much.